Good morning, praise God. God bless you. Um, and God keep you. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. God bless you and your family. I just want to um, share with you um, out of the NLT Bible reading from um, John chapter 14, talking about Jesus' way to the Father. Uh, John chapter 14, starting with verse 1. It says, Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I'm going. No, we don't know, Lord. Well, no, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? You know, just, that sounds like the world, you know, how how we know, how we know which way to go, you know, we don't even know you, I mean, how we know which way to go, you know, that's why they be like going in the wrong direction, and God trying to, you know, lead you the right way, you know, and, and telling you to follow him, do his will, you know, get in the world, you know, study and meditate in his word, you know, it's like Thomas said, you know, we have no idea where you're going, it's like the world, we know how, we have no idea where you're going. And um, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. You know, once again, that's what the world says. Show me, the, you know, show me the Father. You know, that's where I know, where I can, you know, see for myself. You know, sometimes when you know him and see him, you know, know who he is, sometimes you still don't want to do what he says, but you still don't want to obey, you still don't want to follow. Uh, I'm going to read down here to verse 9, it says, Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father, so why are you asking me to show you him, you know, to you? You know, like some people say, like, you know, I've been here with you all the time, you know, I've run you out, I've delivered you out of sickness and <clears throat> disease and uh, got you a place, a roof over your head and everything. You still don't know why you think you did it. You didn't do nothing. The Lord did it. God did it. Praise God. I want to read here. Um, also, uh, if I say, you know, you pray, you meditate, and ask God whatever, uh, you know, you ask him, you know, just wait. You know, he knows what's best for you. And I'm going to read John chapter 17, you know, talking about prayer, you know, prayer of Jesus. He says, after saying, after, saying, <clears throat> after saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one of you. you have, you know, given him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I bow glory to you here on earth by completing the works you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. I have revealed you to the one you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you, for I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accept it, and know, and I, and I came from you. And they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those who have given me, because they belong to you. All who is mine belong to you, and you have given them to me. So they bring me glory, and I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name, so they will be united, just as we are. That's why I pray for people. I pray for them. You know, we're praying for everybody. You know, the the one that's not a believer. You know, I pray for those, you know, for them to uh, get involved, get you... Uh, uh, united, uh, reunited with God, you know, the one that left the church and called himself man to God, you know, whatever, just left God, you know, like, it's supposed to be hurting him, but you know, and still and all, you still need God in one way or another, you need, you need God, 
you know, one way or the other, you do. <clears throat> you may not want to admit it, you might not want to, um, you know, try to recognize that you do, or you're trying to avoid it, there's no dialogue, but no, you know, you need him, you know, that's why he's trying to get you, you know, to do, you know, and live by the truth and do what he wants you to do. You know, there's power in the world, is power in prayer. You know, power in life. You know, it's not power in dark. You can't get nowhere in dark. You know, it's no power in dark. You know, all that uh, confusion and uh, stress and worry away and all that stuff in the dark. That's not a God. God want to give you life. God want to show you the light with this, with this in Him. He's the light. He's the light of the world. Praise God. The light of the world, but not of the world. Praise God. I'm mean, He's the light of the world. The light, whatever the world do, they do. You know, God's trying to give you light within, within Him, which is Him. Praise God. <clears throat> I just said John chapter 17, 1 through, 1 through 12. Let me read 13. It says, Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in the world, so they would be filled with my joy. Not the world's joy. What, what joy the world have? He wants you to be filled with his joy. His way. That's why I said, Keep your joy. There's no devil to your joy, which is the world. The world is, you know, the devil. It's not doing what God said, do it. It ain't nothing but the devil. This is why he's trying to, you know, Say, you know, be happy, stay, you know, with him, with the joy he gave you. You know, this joy that I had, the, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it. You know, praise God. God gave me this joy, you know, and the same God that gave me this joy, he gave you the joy. He gave you the same joy, praise God. Um, peace, joy, happiness, and love, praise God. Um, they, do, they do not belong to this world anymore. They, he said, then I... Do make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is true. They say you sent me in the world. I am sending them into the world, and I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them, so they can be made by, they be made holy by your truth. <clears throat> That's in John chapter eighteen, verse nineteen, number twenty. I am praying not only for those. I am praying for not only for these disciples but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one or you are in my or are you or you in me, Father, I am in you. And may be and may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me so they may be one as we are one. I am in them, and you are in me. God is in me. Praise God. Uh, may they experience us perfect, united, that um, unity that the world will know that you sent me, and that you love them as much as you love me. God say love you like just I mean just as much he loves me. You know he don't like sinners. You know he loves us all. Be that I mean he likes sinners. Um. It says, Father, I want these whom you have given me to be with me where I am. Then they can see all the glory, <clears throat> all the glory you gave me because you love me even before the world began, you know. Before the world got here, began, you know. Began, began, whatever, began. O oh, righteous father, the Lord or oh, O oh, righteous father, the world doesn't know you, but I do. And these disciples know you sent me. I have revealed you to them, and I will continue to do so. Then your love for me will be in them, and I will be in them. Praise God. Uh, it's just like, you know, God sent me, whatever he got me to do on YouTube, talking about the word of God for uh uh Every last and each and every last one of you, you know that's what I'm going to do. Because he loves me first. He loved me, so I love him. So he lived within me, you know, to do this thing. You know, because I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. So whatever the world do, you know, he got these ministers and teachers and preaching the will of God to the world. For them to get in the world of God, you know, that's the one that really cares for the people. You know, you're teaching the word of God. You talk to them about the word of God. You pray for one another. You love them for love one another. You help for a while. you help you know one another and you do what you do you know because God said love everybody you know that's what he said love everybody you know despite of what they say despite of what they do in spite of who they believe you know you just love everybody you might not like what everybody do 
But you know, how key and how the job is the love, you know, treat everybody right, you no know, matter what they say about you, just do good. You can just hand you do good, you know, because then I wake up this morning, you know, then it's out for your sin. You know, you gotta just realize, you know, who woke you up this morning, who provides for you. Was they there? You know, uh, was they there when you were going through whatever you were going through? You know, was they there when you was uh, having your ups and downs, your bad times? Was they there? No. God was there the whole time, you know. Who delivered you out of that? You know, praise God. You had to know God delivered you out of that. You know, he sent his help. He sent people to help us at the same time. God sent it. God did it. So God delivered you out from wherever, you know, the situation you may have went through in life, you know. Who provides for you? Praise God. Who bless you with a job? Who bless you with the roof over your head? Who bless you with the transportation? Who bless you to know how to ride the bus? You know, who bless you how to uh, use or call on the phone or uh, call a cab when you don't have, you know, a transportation? Praise God. Who bless you with strength this morning? You know, to walk and do what you need to do and use your, uh, the handle to work with. Who bless you to, uh, to give you energy this morning? You know, man didn't do it. The world didn't do it. God did it. Praise God. But I just wanted to share those things with you. Um, um, I'll just read something on Peter first denial. Now I'm talking about Peter first denial. The denial that was uh, in John chapter 18 verse one. Simon Peter. Let me just let me read that right quick. The Simon Peter followed. Simon Peter followed Jesus as he. As he as did another of disciples, the other disciple was acquainted with the high priest, so he was allowed to enter the high priest for you all with Jesus. Peter had to stay outside the gate. Then the disciple who knew the high priest spoke to the woman watching at the gate, and she uh, let Peter in. The woman asked Peter, "You not one that you you not one of you are not one of that man disciples, are you?" And Peter said no. He said, you know, he said no. He, he said, he said, he said no. He said, I am not, because it was cold. The whole the household servant and the guard made, had made a charcoal fire. They stood around it, warning themselves, and Peter stood with them, warning himself. The high priest, you know, questioned Jesus. You know, inside, inside the high priest began asking Jesus about the followers and what he had been teaching them. Jesus replied, Everyone knows what I teach. I have I have preached regularly in the synagogue and the temple where the people gather. I have no I have not spoken in secret. Why are you asking me the question? Ask those who heard me. They know what I said. <laughs> it was like go ask you know, go ask, you know, uh Crop or somebody, something like that, or TDJ, or go ask them. They, they heard, they know what I said, you know. If you don't believe it, go, go, go ask them, or go, you know, listen to them on TV or something. You go to their church, you know. Uh, go to the pilot house. Go, go to uh, uh, Shane World Changer, you know. I mean, go to City Refuge, Bitch and Noah Jones, you know. Go ask them, you know. They tell you the word that we out there, you know, doing the will of God. They out there talking to you about the will of God and teaching and. You know, explaining itself, you know, you don't believe it, go out, go, 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 go to these ministers and hear the word of God. Go to George Meyer or somebody, you know, praise God. Listen to me on uh, YouTube or something, you know, praise God. You know, I'm talking about the word, praise God, you know. This thing just didn't happen on that thing. I mean, it just didn't happen. Things just don't happen for nothing. Things happen for a reason. Nothing just don't happen. So praise God, anyway. But thank you for watching and, you know, and tuning on to me once again god bless you and your family um you know praise god for the word i mean i'm always thankful you know i thank god for the world you know the world is awesome it's the, the, the world just keep my spirit in place it, it just do it just it just it just works you know the world is powerful works i mean prayer works all that works you know praise god but anyway i pray for each and every last one of you um for you to uh you know just get in the world do the will of god the one that's you know, maybe you don't believe, maybe you just, you know, just be watching, just to listen. You know, some may be on just to uh, compare, you know, uh, just checking it out. You know, you really don't believe, you know, some, whatever the reason is, you know, God knows who you are, you know, God knows your heart. You know, it's just, it's just like God knows my heart. You know, I mean, up early this morning, I ain't had nothing to drink, no water, no nothing. Just up in the morning, just, just 
just start just get on YouTube and open up my Bible and sharing it with you and praying, you know, without no water, without I mean not not even a cracker, not even nothing to eat. Just just my mind is just on the world to share it with you and just pray and you know, do what I do and start my day just every day, you know. Every day life, just do what I do and still for me keeping a positive mind and you know, standing on the world, you know, no matter what's around me. You know, but haters gonna be haters anyway, so you know, God bless the haters, you know, what for the haters I mean, I wouldn't even know where I'd be. It's like, you know, thank you, haters. You know, I thank God for the haters because, you know, haters just make me stronger. Praise God, it's all the haters really make me stronger. You know, I know who I am Christ Jesus, I am blessed, praise God. And uh and I hope you feel the same way and I hope you is blessed, you know, and continue to be blessed and do all that you do in Christ Jesus, not the world way. We want to pray for each and every last one of you. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that's watching. I pray you'll keep them, lead them, and guide them. Whatever they're about to do this morning, I pray you'll protect them. For all your angels around them, in Jesus' name. God bless the kids who may be on their way to school. I pray you will just lead them and guide them back home safe in Jesus' name. I pray they have a blessing and safe day. They're at school in Jesus' name. I pray that uh, no weapon formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. I pray they may be blessed and have a blessed day. And, uh, do their work and uh, focus on their work and pray and learning how to pray. And I God bless the parents, you know, send them out to school. I pray they get in the world, do the will of God, and pray for their kids, or ask, ask for themselves, and pray for this world. I mean, they just pray for everyone. I pray they just stay tuned and know that God is with them. And I pray that God is He a protector, He's everything. You know, whatever you ask Him to do, you know, He will do. You just ask Him in Jesus' name. And I pray that each and every last one of you, somebody may be sick, somebody may not be feeling good. You know, whoever you are, I just pray the Lord to touch and remove the sickness and the pain right now in Jesus' name. Because you is, because you, you is healed. Because I believe God is a healer. He's not a killer. And He don't want you to stress. He don't want you to worry. He wants you to just meditate day and night on, on stand on the world and do the will of God for your life every day. In Jesus' name I pray. So you is somebody and there's some good in you in Jesus' name I pray. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, you know, so God bless you and your family. Um, you know, I mean, nothing works without God. You know, I mean, He's got he, I me mean, the world is powerful, you know. It's not nothing to play with, you know. He, he's just powerful, you know. It's like, you know, it's like if you start something, you know, the Word of God, whatever you start something, you know, it's like, and then you. For some reason, something happened around, or something happened in your life, you know, you give up, you stop doing what you're doing. No, you don't stop. You just keep continuing to pick up that Bible, keep on reading. You know, God is still there. He knows what's going on. Things just don't happen. No things don't happen for you, Lord. Sometimes you want to test you. You want to test your faith and see if you're going to, um, how you going to hold up. You're going to continue to do His will, do His will, you know, stand on the world and everything. You know, if I tell people, I tell them my testimony and everything, you know, when I was homeless and everything, sleeping in the van, you know, and everything went through what I went through. I done stopped going to church. I mean, I stopped reading my Bible. I done stopped praying either. I mean, why well, stop? It'll do me no good. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna make, it's not gonna make no things no better if I stopped doing it. I mean, God didn't give up on me, you know. I knew this. I, I believe it. Whatever I went through, you know, I mean, things I'm for reading. You know, He's showing me at the same time how people would do, how your own family would do, how you know, how you know, just, you know, how people just, you know, act towards you differently, you know, it's like, they'll be like, where's the God now, you know, you just, I mean, you know, let's trying to just hold you down, I'm like, God is still with me, believe that, he's still here with me, and I ain't gonna, and I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna stop, you know, all this ignorant, you know, people just saying ignorant things, and ignorant words, and just want to see you down, you know, but see now, but when God, I mean, lift me up, and get me back on course, I mean, get me back where I want to be, oh, man, oh, they was really hating, oh, damn, they just want to just, Talk, 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 and they still want to down talk them. Say, all right, you know, God, God, God got me. Praise God, you know. That's why I say I keep a positive mind, you know. In spite of what I went through, sometimes I have to go through it. You know, sometimes you have to go through some stuff. You know, but God will test your faith. You know, because I know it was going to be all right sooner or later. But you know, after it was hard time, went through. You know, whatever I went through, praise God. But you know, I made it all right. I'm not no, I'm not sleeping in no van no more. Praise God. I'm not homeless no more, praise God. I'm not standing with my family members now, praise God. Hallelujah. So uh, anyway, I just want to just share that with you. God bless you. And God keep, you know, because I know God is able, you know, he's been there for me. He's not going to leave. He's not going to forsake me. 
you know, I know who he did, I'm a believer, you know, and I walk by faith and not by sight, you know, no matter what's around, no matter what nobody said, you know, because I know my God, he's able, praise God, you know, the same God is able for me and do for me, he'll do for you, praise God, but anyway, God bless you, and God keep you, until next time, see you later.